secure the objectives. Alrighty, how are we doing guys? Now, in the background is a little bit of League Play. Yes, League Play. I think this is the first... Well, yeah, it is the first game of League Play that I've uploaded to my channel. Every time I do a video and I complain about the connection issues with Black Ops 2, people always say to me, you should get on League Play and give it a go. You know, the, the connection's so much better, there's less bullshit, there's a lot more of a competitive edge, and you, you generally tend to play with people who seem to know what they're doing. So... It's safe to say it's been about three weeks since I've actually played this game and I thought well you know what why don't we give this a go and see if I like it because my faith in Black Ops 2 is, is pretty much dead but if anything can revive it I'm willing to try new things and, and hopefully get a good experience out of it and the one thing I will say is that I was actually surprised in how playable this was. Now. That could be because of one of a few reasons, and it's either because whenever you give anything a bit of a wide berth and you go back to it, it always seems as if it's, I don't know, it, it seems okay, you know, it's like the first time I played this after I, I sold my copy, the first couple of games were absolutely phenomenal. Then once I got a bit more into it, and I don't know if that's my own fault, maybe you get a bit blasé and a bit lapsadaisical in how you actually play the game that you... You just kind of go off the radar and off the scale a bit and start making some pretty fatal errors. Or maybe it is because it is just a better all-round experience. I don't know, it's hard to say, but the reason I wanted to upload this gameplay in particular, this was actually the first gameplay I had. I think I end up about two kills off a of nuclear, and then some little try-hard with a cap 40 decides to spray me in the back. I did kind of see him and I guess, I don't know, old age maybe just made my reactions a bit slow and by the time I realised what had happened I got shot so I was a bit pissed off about that but it has been so long since I've had a nuclear. In the early days of this game when it was, um, I'd say about the first couple of months, maybe the first month, I had, um, I had a few nuclears and ever since they started to really get the patches in there and the connection, I don't know, the connection seems to have got so much worse, the nuclears got fewer and fewer until they were, they were literally extinct. So to see the possible return of one but was actually my fault was, uh, <laughs> was kind of a welcome surprise. Now the really hard thing about this that I'm, co I'm struggling to come to terms with is because after this gameplay I kind of turned it off and I went back to Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 have been the three games I've been really putting the time and work into. You know, I, I did it with Black Ops 2. As soon as Black Ops 2 was due to come out, I kind of put more time into Black Ops 1. Two different developers, Infinity Ward and Treyarch, two different ways of playing a game, two different game styles and game speeds and game dynamics and everything else. So you kind of want to get match fit and get used to it. And that's what I've been doing of late. But I will collectively say um, that when I came back to this game a couple of days later because this this was a few days old before this commentary i played this game at a different time of day i think this one was about quarter past five in the evening so i don't know with regards to connection that always seems to be a good time for me with any game to have the connection i came back to it again um a couple of days later and i played it i would say about 10 15 a.m and it was not as good i didn't find the playability as good and that is generally down to one reason because our French brothers and sisters <laughs> are normally uh, are normally having their time, and I don't know what it is. I, I, I still haven't quite got to grips with what the situation is with French Connection. I don't get it. Not French Connection, the clothing brand. I mean French Connection with French gaming connection. I don't get it. When, whenever I, I've said before, you can guarantee between the hours of about nine in the morning till about three in the afternoon, the connection is horrible and. It took me a while to understand why this was until I started to hear in the lobbies a lot of people shouting, Ah, oh, putain! Je me cause un putain! <laughs> and then I sort of thought, yeah, that's what it is that the French are on. Not a racist comment, just an observation, that's it. But yeah, going back to this, to be honest with you, I mean, it did kind of restore my faith for a very short time in Black Ops 2, and I could probably safely say if I was to play Black Ops 2 at the time that I actually played this, and get into some league play, I will notice a considerable difference if it is like this all the time because the connection did seem a, a mass amount better. I didn't feel like the pace was too fast if there was a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with another person. It didn't feel as though they were just moving too far out of my, my line of view because of the, I don't know, bloody lightweight and connection combined that makes it almost literally impossible to lock onto somebody when you aim down sight. So everything seemed to be a lot smoother. Um, there wasn't 
so many, I guess, quick scopers. Maybe there was a few more people who were using a variation of weapons. So it seemed to be that everybody wanted to try something new. Maybe that's because that everything's available to you in league play and everything's unlocked, and you don't feel like you have to stick to, you know, stick to one set of weapons. It's like whenever you start out in the game, you get your first few weapons, and and you stick to that choice. And then as the game seems to progress. Me personally, I don't find that I change my classes up too much. There might be one or two that I'll think, oh, I'll put that on. I'm glad I've unlocked that. But much to my shame, you know, I've never really been a, a massive submachine gun user in any Call of Duty apart from this one. But it just seems to be the easier option. It's like I've only just found out recently with Modern Warfare 3. A good way of beating connection problems is to put on Sit Rep Pro. It really does help. Now I can hear them a mile off. So I'm actually one step ahead of the game and I'm ready for them. And it, it's a massive plus. And I think that's the thing with this, you know, the, the lightweight and submachine gun combination. It just gives you that little bit of an edge to sort of, I wouldn't say beat the lag compensation, but I would say kind of even the playing field a little bit, you know. But uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, quite honestly, if this is the, you know, the face of things to come with league play, then it, it might draw me into playing a few more games. I, and I, I would probably recommend it for anybody else who who hasn't touched upon league play, because I've always noticed my boy Frido, he's very much kind of pro Black Ops 2. You know, he's, he's one of these, he won't have a bad word said about it. And I totally respect him. You know, I don't always agree with him, but I respect everything he says. And it's, it's kind of a vice versa thing. Me and Frido have a massive conflict of opinions when it comes to Black Ops 2, but we both have that mutual respect, so we don't, you know, we don't kind of bug each other out about it. But I know that Frido does play literally 100% league play, and he doesn't bother with the pub lobbies so much or anymore at all. So if this is the kind of experience that he's having, then no wonder he's pro about it, you know? I can totally get on board with that. If this was the kind of gameplays that I was having day in, day out, I think I'd be upbeat about it. I think I'd be singing its praises. So, yeah, I think we're going to be uploading a little bit more of this. I'll certainly try it out a bit more, and, and I'll be trying it at different times a day. I do believe the biggest challenge with it is going to be roughly about the hours of, say, 10 o'clock at night and 3 in the morning when... Um, when my American friends will be on, because <laughs> that's normally the time when it's like, no, it's time to put on Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, because anything after Black Ops was just horrible after that time. You bloody Americans, you don't know how lucky you've got it, trust me. <laughs> you don't know how lucky you are. I really wish to God I had the servers down the road from me, or however it works. I don't know, I don't, I don't claim to be a tech guy, but yeah, it always seems to be a little bit more in your favour when you guys all jump on. It's probably because you're actually about 10,000 times the bloody size of us here in Great Britain, so there's a lot more of you playing online, I don't know. Yeah, another thing I wanted to point out that I was quite disappointed with, this was just from an observation, and you probably noticed it very early on in this gameplay, was that there are an absolute abundance of campers in league play, and I'm really quite surprised about that, because I genuinely thought that that would kind of be a little bit beneath these guys, you know? I always considered people who played League Play to be that bit more pro, I guess. Considering this is hard points, I suppose, but, you know, I guess if the hard point is actually inside a building, you're going you're gonna to kind of stay within the, the realm of that building and just stop everybody from coming in as much as you can. But in a lot of respects, there was people who were holding down buildings that where the hard point wasn't, you know, and you'd, you'd walk in completely unsuspecting, and there would be somebody sitting behind a plant pot, <laughs> aiming down sides at the door waiting for you to walk in, or waiting for me. So yeah, I was a little bit shocked and surprised about that, but I don't know why. You know, nothing should surprise me about Call of Duty anymore. It's just the people's prerogative that played, I guess. Also, the other thing I'm going to pick up on with regards to Black Ops 2, and I might, I might just try this setup out and give it, a, give it a whirl, because I haven't used this gun much, and it seems to be used quite a, a lot against me, and nobody seems to have really picked up on the Scorpion. For me, I find the Scorpion is really imbalanced. That's just my own observation. I could be wrong, and whenever you say anything a little bit, I don't know, above the collar with this kind of thing, you know, whenever you pick up on anything about sniper rifles, people instantly get straight on it and jump to its defense. And I know I'm going to get the same with the Scorpion, but it just seems to me that the Scorpion almost does everything. You know, it's got range, it's got not too much recoil, it's got the fire rate, it's got mobility, it, it almost does everything. And I find that a lot of people use it and use it well. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. It hasn't been as labour-intensive as the pub lobbies, and anything that's easier on my stress levels can only be a good thing.
Apocalypse done.